Good afternoon, everybody. This is Jeff from Rust Bucket Valley Garage. Uh, it's actually been pouring rain all last night and today, so we decided to do some shop work and we're doing some maintenance today. Uh, we have a Ingersoll Rand 16 horse uh, compressor sitting outside our shop. It's generally under a cover. And uh, last time we ran it, uh, it was acting really funny. It wouldn't load up. So uh, we checked into it and we found some contaminations in the fuel tank. So what we decided to do is completely overhaul the fuel system on it. Um, we got a, a brand new carburetor under here and we've already installed that. And let me show you why. This right here is the carburetor that was on there. Uh, there was an awful lot of sediment in here, and we can go ahead and clean that out. But there was a lot of corrosion in here as well. Uh, when we took the fuel bowl off, this thing was just packed with junk. Okay, so we took the fuel tank off, and we cleaned that out. And a new carburetor for this thing is only like $18.00. So we decided, you know, we're not going to take and uh, spend the time to take and, and rebuild it. We are going to just change it out. Okay. So one thing that we cannot obtain, uh, this is a fuel pump that is on there. And it's lever actuated. This rides off a cam inside of the motor. Uh, California is kind of weird in that... Uh, a couple of years ago, maybe five years ago, they came out with a bunch of laws for energy efficiency, and it doesn't always um, have the intended effect. So, like, uh, we can't get certain light bulbs here because they're not energy efficient enough. Um, this right here is one of the parts that we cannot get uh, this is a fuel pump off of the compressor and unfortunately they have uh, made this, um, this part here unavailable in California. However, um, we did come up with a, uh, a rebuild kit for this. Uh, we didn't want to take it. It still does work. But we wanted to take it out and clean it up and, and rebuild it. So we ordered a, um, a rebuild kit off of our uh, favorites website. Uh, Amazon, not a sponsor. They have a lot of unusual stuff. And uh, this is one of the things that they had it. This right here is a rebuild kit. It's a diaphragm and a spring and a gasket. And that's basically it. So... Uh, this thing is pretty grody on the outside. We're going to take it outside and we're going to wash it off with carburetor cleaner. Uh, generally, I say don't use carburetor cleaner on plastic. This plastic here is rated for gasoline, so it shouldn't be a problem to take and, um, and wash this off with uh, carburetor cleaner. It shouldn't do anything to the plastic. So we'll go ahead and do that, and I'll be right back with you. All right, so we're going to take and start to disassembly on this little puppy here. And just a couple of Phillips number two screws holding the thing together. Judging by the, um, the parts kit that we got, there's going to be a uh, spring inside here. So we want to make sure that we get the spring on the right side of the diaphragm. Otherwise it won't operate properly. The difference in price between a brand new pump, if we could get it, and also the um, so that one's pretty bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is really bad. So it's a good thing that we uh, we decided to take and go go ahead and overhaul this.
So we'll go ahead and uh, push this pin out of here and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so we did not have to take this pin out right here. Um, we just push down and turn and this came out. And this is a new one. As you can see, it's kind of a T-shaped deal. The spring is on the back of that, just like that. So we'll take and stick that back down in there. And we'll give it a quarter turn. And it should be fine. Just like that. So that part is actually rebuilt. Okay. This portion here, this is the other portion of it. This was actually stuck down in there. Um, we put an air hose on one of these with a rag over here and pop this out using air pressure. So this is a little one-way valve right here. It draws the fuel in and then it, um, it allows the pump to take and pressurize it and push it out so it's a one-way valve a one-way valve here and it's in one-way valve here and it's out okay so you want to take and make sure that when you put this back together that you have everything clean then clean up all your mating surfaces for your gaskets okay this goes back in here okay. Presses in just like that. Okay. And clean up the outside just a little bit. All right. Now, this is going to go just like this. Okay. And this is your input from the uh, fuel tank. And this is your output over to your carburetor. Okay. And we'll just squeeze that together and we'll put a couple of screws in there and it'll be ready to go. Okay, so what I've done is I put two screws in and then we're going to check it and make sure that we get the right pumping action. You can hear it. And everything is operating properly. So we'll go ahead and we'll put the rest of the screws in. And at this point, we'll just go ahead and snug them until we take and get all the screws in. Because if there's some misalignment, we can take and move it around just a little bit. Okay. So. All right. Very good. Thing went back together. No problem. Okay. Um, we're going to put this back on the compressor. New gasket. I'm going to clean off the mating surface here. And there's going to be oil on this side. So maybe we want to put just a little bit of silicone on there. Okay. And it goes on just like that. So this will go back on the compressor uh, probably tomorrow morning when it stops raining. Because <laughs> we don't like working in the rain. Okay, it's supposed to be a sunshine state. We need we need a rain. We're supposed to have a drought. So we'll go ahead and we'll put it back together tomorrow. Okay, probably tomorrow has something different for you. We have a job coming in later on this afternoon where we are going to be investigating a squeak in the right front wheel of a Honda that um, we don't know what it is. We think something's out of alignment. Okay, so we're going to be using various uh, calibers and measuring devices on the rotor and on the hub to take and see what is acting up. Okay, so I hope I've given you some good information this afternoon. Thank you very much for all your comments and your subscriptions and hit the notification bell. So you'll know when we do something new. And good afternoon to you. We'll talk to you next time.